Hey there, welcome to Trucking Tuesday by Race Screws. Check out this new, brand new for 2018 Hot Wheels item. It's the Carnival Steamer. You know what? Carnival. You probably noticed in the Hot Wheels singles, they've been having this Fun Park line. HW Fun Park. Here we have Boom Car. You could put your little uh, mini fig right there. You lay them down and you go point and you can flick them out of the cannon. That's number one out of five. Number two out of five from the HW Fun Park series. Ring toss, as if it's a little carnival game. There's the image on the card. Number three out of five. Here you have the Loopster. This is a pretty cool design, got flames. You can find this with either hands up or hands down. This guy in the corner, there's a, there's a variation. Uh, neither one is rare. They're both produced in about equal quantities. Here's number four of five from the HW Fun Park. Bump around. It's like a little bumper car. Really, really like this model. Pretty fun. And last but not least, you have Bazooka. Bazooka is actually new for 2018 as well. Yep, yeah, HW Fun Park, Bazooka, 50th anniversary. This is 2018, so it's a Hot Wheels 50th anniversary. It's a fun little model. Like I said, new for 2018. Now with the uh, bump around, uh, this is not new for 2018. Bump around, actually this year, uh, I think it was this year, it was actually a treasure hunt. Maybe you were able to find this version with the Circle Flame logo. But it actually was a new model in 2013. This is one of the new model colors back in 2013 for bump around. Let's see what was next that I showed before. Loopster, it was a new model in 2015 here's one of the uh, new colors that were back there in 2015 chill mill is not a new model either new for 2015 here's one of the colors when it was a new model and the last model in the fun park series boom car this was a new model back in 2017 and this is my favorite color of boom car so far Red, white, and blue, you know I like this one. But let's go ahead and talk about Carnival Steamer. Check it out. It comes with paddle driver, and I've never seen this decoration before. I don't know if it's going to be exclusive to this package or not. Nice clown-type decorations. Check out that trailer. <laughs> this is fun stuff, and it has like a choo-choo train for the front. Very, very unique. You know, the, these are used to be called truck and transporters. Now they're called super rigs. Uh, it's not on the package. But anyways, uh, this is not only is this brand new, it's pretty unique as well. Uh, check out where the wheel is for the trailer. It's in the middle. I can't wait to open this up and check it out. It only has one wheel in the middle. By the way, this is appearing. Uh, this is showing back up on the pegs, Galactic Express. I don't know if there's a variation or if it's exactly the same. Bankroller has a new color. Holland Horsepower is back. I'm glad because that's an awesome rig right here. This is cool. Uh, this is okay, but this part, fantastic. Pencil Pusher, another fun design, just like Carnival Steamer. Uh, I, I really like this. I got an extra of this. Now, I, I actually found an extra of this as well. This was on the pig, so I had to get an extra one of that one. A very, very cool truck, black and chrome. Uh, really like this truck and as far as a quick peek at bankroller here is bankroller's new design once again it's like a safe keep out it's got chains all over it uh, the only thing is the chains are only right here you need the chains around the back because that's where it pops open and I did a review as, uh, as, on this one before same with pencil pusher here's a look at the decorations on fast cash it has the uh, safe design well, there's a peak of these, but uh, let's go ahead and get to Carnival Steamer. Not only is it, uh, you know, a truck and trailer, but it, it looks like you can also attach it to the track. So when we take this apart, this it looks like looks like this stands up, and maybe this this connects to a piece of track. That's what it looks like it says. And then you could use it like a, a little ramp, or maybe a little hill. Uh, yeah, maybe that part right there connects to the track. This version of Pedal Driver is part of the Ride On series. You can tell which version is a Ride On series with Pedal Driver. 
if it has only half the steering wheel, you can see the top half, and it does not have the bottom half. Well, that's so that you can put the legs for your figures, put them in there, sit them down, and then you can use them for your uh, mini figures. Let me take this off real quick. Oh, sorry, dude, I took off your hand. Anyways, you can sit them down in your figure, sit them down in your model. Now let's go ahead and check out the truck. Really, this thing is, I think this is gonna be very popular with kids. Kids love trains, kids love carnivals, kids love the circus. Uh, it's colorful. I think this is gonna be a very cool gift to give for the kids. You know, collectors are enjoying it as well. That's a little uh, parasol or umbrella for the roof. Oh, hey, it looks like someone dropped their ice cream or something. I'm not sure what that is on the floor, but uh, got a steering wheel. This part is metal. It's a Zamac, which is just bare metal. It is uh, painted with a clear coat so that it doesn't tarnish. Check out the wheels in the back. It's big. Now, I wonder if this is the, the biggest that this wheel has ever been, largest size that this wheel has ever been produced in. It's huge. Nice smooth wheels in the front. And this is too cool, having it in the back. And uh, I thought it might teeter totter, totter, but you know what? It sits just fine. Let's go ahead and give it the uh, squeaky wheel test while we're at it. Very nice, no squeaks at all. Let's test that feature where I said we can connect a piece of track. There's no uh, no opening hatch on the back, at least uh, not that I can tell. But this comes up, there you go. Now this top part right here, you can connect a piece of track, bring it around, slide it right on. Hey, that worked, uh, that worked nicely. Here we go. Oh, I need to put some of the weight of the track on the back so that it doesn't uh, tip over. Let me slide this so I have my weight more balanced. Let me get this in such a way, get it to stand up. Actually, maybe I need this this way. There we go. Uh, much, much better. On your marks, get, hey! Let's try Bazoomka. I have one loose already because when I did my case unboxing video, it, it fell right off of the, it came right out of the package. And let me adjust my camera. Go. Bump around. Not the treasure hunt version. I'm just going to help in the, the regular version. I'll save the uh, treasure hunt version for a special video. Boom, car. Oh, I got to get the uh, Viking. Let me get that little Viking, dude. Where'd he go? Oh, I got to go get him. Oh, here he is right here. Now you get now you get it right on in here, in the boom car. There you go. Ready? Head first. Oh! Chill mill in like a uh, light aqua color. And last but not least, Loopster. Um, I did not get a... Let me go get one that has the hands up version. I'll be right back. I went into my collection to get this green sample of Loopster. And the top one, you see the four riders. Nobody has their hands up. But with this one, see the guy in the back seat? Or lady, I'm not sure. Has the hands up. Doesn't mean it's rare. They just make them, uh, there's two different versions. So how about I use this version of Loopster. We'll open up the Fun Park, HW Fun Park version. And Loopster, call it Loopster like a roller coaster. You can connect them. You put this, connect it right here. There you go. Now you have your own little uh, roller coaster. Let's check out the hauling capacity of the trailer. Uh, by the way, let's see if it's the same on each side. Uh, are you looking at that side? Now let's turn it around. Uh, at a glance, it appears both sides are the same. And yes, you can detach the trailer. And it also does say Carnival Steamer on the base. 
produced L30. That would be the 30th week of 2018. Let's go ahead and see how well they fit. Now you're going to have to pick them up. There's no ramp or anything, but uh, have fun playing with your cars. Fits in just fine. Let's see if I could put them in, get them to the front. His bumper's catching something. Push them to the front. See if I can get two cars in there. There you go. Uh, boom car. Oh, boom car's too tall. Now, you could probably put boom car in there. You'd probably open this up. Put boom car in. Maybe boom car has to go by itself. No, boom car, too big. Boom car does not fit. Oh, they get it. Nope, it won't quite close. It has a little notch right there. Doesn't reach it. Sorry, boom car. You'll just have to follow along. Let's try. Bump around. <laughs> Bump around has that big antenna. Won't fit in the back, but hey, we have a we have a cutout in the roof. Should fit this way. Fits this way. No problem. Excuse me. Next. Chill mill. Oh, too big. Try chill mill this way. There you go. Well, at least you know he can't fall out because he doesn't fit out the back. Uh, I forgot what this plane was called. Started with a B. Bazoom. Is that his name right on the side? Yeah, Bazoomka. There's the name. Nope, doesn't fit in the back. But we can put him in like that. Yeah, he's not falling out either. Loopster. Loopster is low profile, right? It's pretty low. Yep, yeah, fits easily. Actually, I can just push him out this way. So, with this car being low, like pedal driver, Loopster fits just fine. I don't know if it fits like this. Nah, he's too long. You'll need uh, two short models. Maybe like the go-kart. Look, go-kart is so small. Go-kart's definitely going to fall out. Yep. Carnival Steamer, pretty fun. Kids, I think kids will love it. And there's some adult collectors who like it as well. Nice addition to the Fun Park series. Thank you for watching. Have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.